Lenovo Vantage is the performance tuning software built into Lenovo gaming laptops designed to help you get most of your hardware. I previously did a full deep dive on this software covering how it works, what each setting does and optimizing it for real world use. And that video got a great response. Now Lenovo has refreshed the Vantage UI with cleaner panels, rearranging menus and a few, wait, where did that go? Surprises. In this video, we'll break down what's new, what's improved and what might just be changed for sake of change. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, Lenovo greets us with a redesigned home screen. But let's be honest, this feels like a change for the sake of change. You get basic system info, serial number, battery status, warranty and support services. Functional, yes, but the layout is cluttered with ads and most shortcuts just send you further down sections you'll reach anyways. It's a bit redundant and not particularly useful as a landing page. So we get into the real core, the gaming settings. This is where most of the actual features live and it essentially still functions as Vantage's true home base. Even though I've explained this before, let's walk through them again and check for any changes. At the top, you'll see the system performance metrics, CPU usage, GPU usage, VRAM status, and SSD info all at a glance. Hit more info and you'll dive deeper into the laptop's hardware specs from processor details to storage and RAM. Next to that is where the tuning begins. Thermal profile gives you control over cooling profiles, performance mode crank everything up, maximum power draw, fans on full blast, great for gaming but only when plugged in. Balance mode is the default, maintaining a decent performance without sacrificing battery. Quiet mode dials down everything back, perfect for silent environments or when battery life matters more than speed. You also get GPU overclocking, a feature that pushes your graphics chip and VRAM for extra frames in demanding games. It works only on AC power and while it can squeeze performance, it may lead to overheat or stability issues. So tread carefully here. Then there's Network Boost which prioritizes your internet bandwidth for apps that need it, like multiplayer games or video calls. Quite handy when other apps hog the internet connection in the background. Auto Close is a neat optimization feature. You can set it to shut down specific apps, say music players, automatically when launching a game. Simple but useful. The GPU working mode offers a deeper control over graphics processing, also known as a MUX switch. Hybrid mode balances between iGPU and DGPU, ideal for saving power while keeping things responsive. iGPU only cuts to just integrated graphics, great for light tasks and extended battery life. DGPU only engages full discrete graphic for top performance but with higher temps and low battery backup. Definitely use this mode only when plugged in and this mode will help you get highest of the frames possible. Hybrid auto mode lets the Lenovo's LA1 AI decide what's best for your work and switches modes automatically without you even knowing. Most changes here need a restart unless your laptop has Advanced Optimus, which handles it seamlessly in the background without needing to restart your laptop. So if you see a pop-up to restart the laptop for it to take effect, that means your laptop does not have an Advanced Optimus. Overdrive mode improves screen latency, making visuals snappier and more responsive, especially useful in fast-paced competitive games. Next up, you've got a couple of convenience toggles like a shortcut to lock the touchpad useful during gaming or precision tasks, rapid charge for faster battery top-ups, Wi-Fi security which leads to a dedicated setting that checks for vulnerabilities in your network setup, system update redirects you to the update center where you can check for BIOS, drivers or firmware updates and browse update history if something feels off after a recent install. Then there's macro key setup letting you to assign shortcuts to any key like binding a cheat code or a specific input to a single button. The power options tabs extends into its own section. Here you'll see battery temperature, battery health status and options like battery conservation mode which limits charging to a set percentage to improve battery longevity. Toggle for a rapid charge, a neat feature where you can boot the laptop just by lifting the lid, no power button press needed. Hardware scan runs diagnostics on all internal components, useful for spotting issues but give it some time to complete. It's thorough. 
Now for audio, Namek Audio is Fantages built in sound so choose from presets like music, movie, communication or gaming, manually tweak EQ settings like bass and treble, set up easy sounds around for syncing multiple devices, activate sound tracker which visually maps sound direction, hugely helpful in FPS games, especially in competitions. You can also share audio between two output devices like dual headphones, great for collaborative listening. Lastly, there's Legion Spectrum, the RGB control panel. It offers multiple lighting effects, brightness and speed controls, color options and profile presets so you can switch looks on the fly. Next in the menu is device settings section. We've already discovered power options inside gaming settings so let's focus on what's unique here. Under display you get access to camera control and an option to enable super resolution, a handy feature for enhancing HDR video playback. Then there's sound which allows you to adjust your microphone's input volume simple but essential the input tab lets you toggle function key behavior either through software or directly using the keyboard shortcut function plus escape you also get the caps lock ost icon which allows a pop-up on screen whenever caps lock is toggled helpful to avoid typing surprises another nice touch is the ability to convert settings into a desktop widget so you can pin quick access controls directly over your home screen lastly device details gives you an overview of your laptop's internals like processor ram storage and other key specs moving on to system update and hardware scan features they've already been covered under gaming settings so we won't repeat that here next is security which provides a simple overview of which system security features are enabled or disabled it's basic but worth a glance now into the utility section here you'll find an option to flag trusted networks already covered earlier plus a memory cleaner where you can monitor ram usage across the apps there's also a lenovo migration assistant which helps transfer all your settings and data from one lenovo device to another a handy tool while upgrading systems the support services tab is essentially your troubleshooting dashboard from here you can run updates hardware scans warranty checks, health reports, and general fixes all in one place. Finally, we reach Vantage Pro features. These include smart performance, which offers subscription-based tools to enhance your laptop's responsiveness, smart lock, a security feature that adds extra protection and helps recover lost data, and a direct link into purchase Lenovo genuine parts right from the app itself. My take, the Lenovo Vantage update feels more cosmetic. While the layout looks cleaner, a lot of the features are duplicated across sections and end up taking you to the same place. It's more of a polished interface with added promotional content than a meaningful upgrade. I personally preferred the older design where you landed directly on the performance dashboard. It was functional and to the point. Still, the core settings are intact and if you know where to look, it works just fine. What do you think about this redesign? Let me know in the comments and if this walkthrough helped, a like and sub would mean a lot.